Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my foundation routine. Um, I have been doing my foundation a little bit different for the past like two months. So I decided to sit down and film this for you guys. Um, so this is going to be my last video that I will be filming before I film my Q&A. Um, down below will be an ask.fm link so you guys can ask me the questions there I just feel like it would be so much easier for me to just have all the questions down Instead of like me going in every single video and just getting the questions So yeah, if you guys could please ask me questions in that forum You can make them personal funny makeup related advice boy advice anything I will answer those in my next video. I promise so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow my Instagram Instagram and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I get a full coverage beat. I have several foundation routines up on my channel. Well, I think I have like two because the other ones I privated. Um, but I have been doing my foundation or like my base a little bit different for like the past two months now so I decided to sit down and film it for you guys so this is going to be full coverage B this is not natural this is not nothing this is full full coverage so if you guys want to see how I get a full coverage look then just keep on watching Okay, so the first thing that I do is I always go in with some spray. So it's either the Smashbox, the MAC Fixin Plus, I have a NYX one, I have a Urban Decay one. Um, I just go in with any spray because since I am applying a lot of creams and powders on my face, I definitely want my face underneath to be hydrated. Because if it's not hydrated, then your um, cream and your powder is going to not stick and adhere to your face that well. So whenever I do people's makeup and I ask them, like, do you have moisturizer on, you know, before I do their makeup, they're like, no, I have oily skin. Um, and a lot, and I used to believe that. I used to believe that, oh, I have oily skin, I don't need moisturizer. That is completely wrong because if you don't moisturize your face um, throughout the day, you're going to get more oily because your face and your oil glands are basically telling your face like oh let's produce oil because his face isn't moisturized there's no moisture on his face so let's do that for him now if or her now if you have moisturizer on um your oil glands are going to be like okay there's moisture on his face i don't need to like come out you know um that's such like a animated scenario but it's like that's how it works so you always want to make sure that you're moisturized and that you're hydrated before you do your makeup once again even if you're um oily af you still want to moisturize your face to prevent further oil 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 oiliness oiliness okay so i'm gonna go in with this spray and hydrate my face Okay, so then now you have moisturizer and you have your spray on. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go in with your um, appropriate primers that are meant for your skin type and for your skin issues that you have going on. Now for me, I am a little bit on the drier side. I'm normal to dry. I used to be very oily and I am not oily anymore, which I thank God. But now I do have to go in with another primer to add that moisture. So I go in with the Smashbox hydrating primer smashbox it, like it's known for their primers they have a whole line for anything you'll ever need so i have the hydrating one and i have i think like three other ones um so you want to go in with any primer that you need so this primer this specific one that i have is going to hydrate my face but it also has the primer properties that any other primer has so it is going to make my foundation last a little bit and anything that you put on your face it being moisturizer it being a primer it being a spray anything that has a barrier between your skin and your foundation is going to make your foundation last a little bit longer so um yeah so don't just go in with your foundation 
like without having moisturizer or anything on it because your foundation is literally not going to stay on because it's just sticking to your skin so you want to make sure there's a barrier and also this prevents um your pores from clogging up because once again there's something else underneath that foundation so i do have dry skin but i also have very large pores around this area so i'm going to go in with a pore smoothing primer this is the lancome la base perfecting makeup primer smoothing effect so i unfortunately have to go into two primers because i have dry skin and if i didn't have large pores i wouldn't be going in with this primer um so this primer is really similar to the smashbox one the clear one um, the Benefit Professional, Baby Skin by Maybelline especially. It has like the same color, same texture, everything. Um, so yeah, you can use any of those if you have large pores. And once again, this is going to help your foundation last a little bit longer. Okay, so after this is when I go in and I color correct. I usually don't include this in my video just because I feel like the average person does not color correct because... I don't know, I feel like they just don't. So, um, I usually just skip that. I have included it, I have included it in some videos, um, but I usually don't. So what I use is I use this. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. You can literally get this at any like um, beauty supply store. I don't think Sally carries it, but if you have like a Asian Chinese beauty store, you can definitely get one there. Um, and this is just in the color orange. Now, let me tell you why I use orange. So, I use orange because I have a lot of discoloration around my mouth, um, especially here because of my mustache area, and then here because this is where most of my facial like thick hair is. So, I have a lot of discoloration around my mouth. Um, so, orange color corrects that. So, orange color corrects any blueness or um, darker tones that you have um, green corrects redness purple corrects dullness yellow corrects anything that's like um, purplish so I'm going to go in with this to counteract the blue around my mouth now people do put this underneath their eyes I don't because I just feel like it's just too much underneath my eyes so I just keep this and focus this on this area now in my videos you can you see that I like bring it all the way out here that's just because as I'm blending it out it kind of goes out but you just want to keep this where you need it so once again I just need this around my mouth especially in this corner right here and then right here because that's even if I shave you can still see a shadow because that's where your thick your thicker facial hair tends to be so then I go in with a dual fiber brush this is from elf I've had this literally since forever and I always make sure to spray my brushes once again because my skin is a little bit on the drier side so anything that adds moisture back into my skin is amazing so then I just blend it this out like normal now if you only wear like a light coverage foundation or like a BB cream or anything like that do not color correct underneath that because um, since it doesn't have that much coverage you're gonna be able to see orange like where you put it so I only recommend you doing this if you do use like a fuller coverage foundation or if you do what I'm about to do so after this is done I go in with the fullest coverage concealer that I have um, this is one of them this is the Mac studio finish this is um, just like a concealer so what I do is I take a dry sponge you can use a beauty blender all of mine are dirty so I'm just using this one from Walmart which is literally amazing so what you do is you go in and you get concealer now I'm using it dry because if this were wet it wouldn't pick up as much product so then what I do is I put it over everywhere where I put that orange and the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I've noticed that when I just go in straight with my foundation, you can still see a little bit of that orange underneath. So this is kind of counseling the orange without counseling what the orange is actually doing. Um, as opposed if you were just to put this um, without putting the orange underneath. So this is basically just going over that orange and making it less intense just so when I go in 
with my foundation it's not like I have orange around my mouth which doesn't happen all the time but when I do just use like one very like liquidy runny foundation it does tend to do that um, so I just like going over it and correcting that I don't do this on a daily basis I barely wear makeup on a daily basis um, I don't wear makeup to school or anything um, just because I literally go in for class for like an hour and then I leave so there's like no point but in high school I would beat my fucking face <laughs> okay so that is that um, so then what I like to do is at this point my skin since I do have dry skin it is a little bit on the drier side it's still so after this I go in back in with my spray and I let that dry now my other problems is my under eyes um, I do have dark circles because I go to sleep at like 4 a.m. so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did um, but I'm not putting down the orange this time I'm just going straight in with my concealer so you just before you apply your foundation and your actual brightening concealer or any concealer that you use you just want to make sure that your skin is properly concealed or corrected and this is only if you need it um, I'm not saying that everybody needs this but I do just because um, I used to have really bad acne so that acne left discoloration marks just a lot of things so for foundations I used to just because I'm extra like that so I go in with my Urban Decay this is a full 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 coverage foundation which I appreciate but this is meant for more people that have oily skin because foundations that are pro long wear or like you know fuller coverage they're usually meant for people that have oily skin so this is a little bit too like mattifying for me so I do have to go in with like an illuminating foundation so for me I go in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow um, and I mix these and they're perfect and also this is a little bit too pink for me um, so the L'Oreal one kind of um, neutralizes that pink so then I just got my nails done yesterday and they didn't cut it down because I kind of like this length so I, I usually would go in and like put it all, all over my face but I can't do that because the foundation gets stuck underneath my nails so I go in with this brush you can go in um, with your beauty blender or anything a lot of people dip their beauty blender in their foundation and apply it straight like that I feel like that eats up my foundation so I don't really do that because I like full coverage Okay, so then here you can go in with a sponge, your fingers, anything. I like to go in with my brush, and one of my favorite brushes to use is the Morphe M439. Once again, I spray my brush. Um, I like this because it's dense and it's wide, so it does cover my large ass face, and it makes everything so much quicker. I used to use my beauty blender and it literally, I'm not even kidding, it would take me like 10 minutes just to do my foundation and now I can do just my foundation in like 3 to 4 minutes. That's it for that side. So then we move on to this side and you never want to go, I'm just going to show you, you never want to go like this, okay? Because if you go like that and you have any type of peach fuzz or any facial hair you're basically lifting up that facial hair and like sticking that foundation underneath and then when you go in with blend it um, you're blending out your facial hair because your foundation is underneath your facial hair um, so you never want to once again you never want to go like this you just want to pat and you don't want to go like this because if you go like that you're getting that foundation and all of the nooks and crannies that you might have on your face like if you have pores it's just filling them in instead of like actually covering them so you just want to pounce
after this, I usually like to let my foundation kind of settle in. I don't go in directly with powder just because your foundation is still wet. So you kind of want to let your foundation dry a little bit. Um, not completely though, because then it's going to settle into your lines. So usually I have enough time to do my concealer. We did go in with that MAC concealer, but now I'm going to go in with concealers that are actually going to help brighten and kind of um, cover a little bit more. So I go in with... Um, different concealers these are just the ones that I'm using today um, concealer is something that I switch up all the time because I have so many um, but recently these have been my favorite so the first thing that I do is I go in with my born this way by Too Faced just because this matches my skin tone a little bit better and I put this directly underneath my eyes where I have that darkness now if you go in with a very very light concealer and you have very very dark circles your concealer is gonna look ashy and your skin is gonna look ashy because you're basically trying to cover a dark spot with a light color you know so I go in with that and then I go in with my Kat Von D which is extremely full coverage and this is a little bit lighter so I just put this right underneath um, just to help brighten everything up and once again add coverage right here and that's what I do there and then I usually go back in with my Born This Way and I kind of like knock off all the product and I use this to blend in those two colors and do the same on this side. And then I go back in, get a little bit more, put it on the center of my face, my chin, my cupid's bow, and then I just draw a line on my nose now this is going to help slim everything down but also since i am going in with a light concealer underneath my eyes if i don't do this it's going to be hella bright underneath and then your face is going to be a different color so this kind of helps everything blend out and once again you don't want to swipe just want to push it into the skin and i know it kind of sounds bad like you're pushing all of this product into your skin um it is but Obviously, if you have a skincare routine, you'll be fine. And then for my concealer, I usually blend it out with that same brush. Just because I feel like the beauty blender sometimes picks up too much product. And I have to go in with more. And then sometimes that doesn't blend out because the concealer underneath is already dry. So usually this is fine. And I do go over my eyelids just because I have very dark eyelids. Okay, so then you want to go directly in and set your under eye before it creases. So my favorite powder to use is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Literally gone through like seven of these since I started using it because it's so good. So for a full coverage look, you want to bake and bake basically just means that you're putting hella powder underneath your eye and you're letting it sit there and bake your concealer. And um, this allows your concealer to set nicely and prevent any creasing. And since your powder is baking and setting directly onto that concealer, it's gonna kind of like like adhere to it and it's not gonna let it go. Um, literally, sometimes I bake so hard that when I go in with my wipe, you can still see a little bit of concealer because it's not letting it go anywhere. And you don't have to do this, but I do have a lot of um, like fine lines and pores like around here and around my mouth so when I bake around there with my powder it kind of like erases and blurs everything out so that's what I'm doing here you don't have to do this um, especially if you have extremely dry skin you want to avoid baking this hard okay so then I let this bake for about four to five minutes and while that is baking and and doing its thing I go ahead and do my eyebrows so I'm gonna do that off of camera okay so then now I'm going to go ahead and dust all this powder off and I'm just using a Sigma F23 so then now I go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte which this is literally so old I've had this for like three years now and I go in with a brush like this. This is the Sigma F35. And I just go in and I blend out that concealer on my eyelids because by now it probably creased. 
And then I go in and I set my eyelids just because one, they're oily AF, and two, we put on concealer there. So then you wanna go in with a colored powder to kind of mix in because even though that color or that powder was translucent, it did kind of leave like you can see where I didn't put the translucent powder. So to kind of blend that line out and just mattify the rest of your skin, you wanna go in with a colored powder. The one that I have been using for like two months now is this CoverGirl one, and I have had this since like sophomore year, and I just never ever used it until two months ago. Literally never touched it or anything. Um, so I have been so in love with this powder actually, and I used to use my, I used to use the Mac, um, what is it called? Mac Studio Fix. Studio Fix powder, I don't know. And I still do, but it's just way too light for me. Um, so hopefully now that winter is coming, um, it'll match me, but right now, this matches me perfectly and I really like the formula. Um, it can get like pretty cakey, so you just wanna make sure that you don't um, apply too much. Just because any drugstore powder isn't as finely milled, so um, it is going to kind of cake up if you keep loading it and loading it on but if you just go over it with one layer and I'm like barely tapping it in like you don't want to like swirl it because that's going to pick up way too much powder um you just want to touch everything and mattify everything down so then for bronzer I have been using this bronzer for months now and I, I have not used anything else I literally can't it's so warm which I love warm bronzers and it also gives you a glow which I appreciate. So with this, what I do is I just basically, I don't really concentrate it, and you wanna use a brush that's really like fluffy. This is the, oh it rubbed off. It's by Sonia Kashuk, I don't even know the number. You don't wanna concentrate it directly like in your cheekbone, but just around that area. So I usually just go like this. I know a lot of people take like a huge brush like this, and sometimes I do, and they put it all over your face, or all over their face, but that's going to give you more like a very tan look, um, which I don't really want all the time. So I just go like this and kind of just put it right here. I don't really go below, like right here. Just keep it really high up. And if your foundation is too light, this will literally help you so much. I also put this on my nose just to warm it up. Sometimes when you have the same color here, here, and here, it kind of just washes everything out, kind of like blurs your nose out. So adding um, bronzer to like the sides and the tip of it really like makes it like look like you have a nose. <laughs> okay, so after this, I go in and I contour. So my favorite thing to contour with is this Anastasia one. Um, this is the Anastasia contouring kit. And I take a brush like this. This is the Sigma F05 Small Contour. And I like contouring powders that are warm, which is kind of like contradicting what you really need to do because you need to contour with like a cooler tone. But if I contour with a cooler tone, and I have tried so many, I just look so bad. Like it just looks like I have mud on my cheeks. So I usually go in with the first and the last and then the tiniest dab of the center one because the center one is very cool toned. So I usually just swirl my brushes, my brush in between those two. And then I literally just one time knock the um, excess off. And I like to contour. Everyone should have just like a natural shade right here. So that's where I contour and I focus it right there. And you don't wanna bring it all the way in cause it's gonna make your face just look like very like, like it's like basically going in. So I just look to the side, I see where that natural like contour is. And then I just go like this. I'm about to do a really ugly face, but that's really gonna help your bones pop out and you're like shading in your bones, like your nose, your nose bones. Uh, so I go like this and here's one bone, here's the other bone and I just shade that in. <laughs> it 
So then what I do is I go in with these two shades right here, just on my brush. And you want to make sure you get the tip of the brush too, because that's what you're going to use most of. And you just want to go right underneath your contour and place that there so it can clean it up and give you a stronger contour. So find your contour and then put it below. This also helps if you went too low with your contour. It helps like clean it up and basically erase because it's a lighter color. And then I go back in with that powder brush and I just blend everything out with no additional product. So blush, once again, is something that I alternate between several different colors, tones, undertones, brands, anything. So for today, I'm using the Urban Decay um, After Glow Powder Blush in Fetish. So I'm going in with this brush. This is by NARS, and as you can see, it's very flimsy. So anything like this, even like a dual fiber brush like this, or like this, like something that's not tightly packed, you want to go in and blush is the first thing that leaves your face like throughout the day. So I'm not saying to pack it on, but you do want to like, you know, put on a little bit more and then blend it out. So I have my blush here, as you can see, and then I smile. I don't put it directly here. I place it here and then I blend. Oh, that was a lot. I blend and I go like this. And then I bring it inwards. So then you want to take your, I usually take my bronzer brush and I blend that out just because um, it's going to still add a little bit of color but blend everything out. Okay, so next is highlighter. So my favorite highlighter right now has been the Global Glow by MAC. And I used to use this brush right here, but I just feel like this kind of just, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. So I have been going in with this brush. I never mentioned this brush because the brand is so hard. It is the Royal and Land Nickel Contour MBD 120 brush. You can get these brushes at Walmart for, it's like, four dollars I think and they're really really good so what I do is I just go in and load my brush tap it off and then I apply I usually smile place and then blend and I love a good highlighter on the cupid's bow the tip of the nose A little bit further up the nose and I even bring this a little bit off my forehead and then I take that brush that I used to swipe off the bake and I just go over that to blend it out okay so after this you want to go in with a setting spray a refreshing spray a primer spray anything that's going to make your makeup kind of stick a little bit so i usually go in with my urban decay all nighter but that's all the way over there and i don't want to go get it so i'm going to be using my smashbox primer water that i used and this is going to dilute your face which basically means it's going to add water to your face to kind of make the powder softer and not make you look so powdery and dry so this is going to help a lot and it's also going to extend your makeup this doesn't extend your makeup as much as if you were to use a setting spray um but i'm not going anywhere so i'm just going to put this on so this is the final look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned some techniques and some tips along the way don't forget to ask me your questions down below in the forum that i will be putting down in the description box it's just an ask.fm you can ask me questions on there and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow my instagram and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye <laughs>